Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. Former world number ones are headed to the hall. Justine Ennen and Marat Safin were trailblazers and will make history now as the first players from their respective nations inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Uh, for being inducted into the Hall of Fame in Newport, for me it's a big surprise. Um, unexpected, really. And I want to say thank you for everyone who helped me throughout these years. Something very important in my life today and the fact that uh, yeah, being part of the, the Hall of Fame says that there will remain something of that and it's something uh, a little bit special. They owned two of the best backhands of all time. Justine used her brilliant one-handed backhand to win 43 career titles, including seven Grand Slam crowns and the 2004 Olympic gold medal. Justine is a new mom now and coaching consultant to Alina Spitalina. The temperamental Marat Safin, one of the game's most charismatic and volatile players, shocked Pete Sampras to win his first slam title back in 2000. That was at the U.S. Open. Five years later, Marat beat Leighton Hewitt on his home soil to win his second Grand Slam title at the Australian Open. Marat also helped lead Russia to two Davis Cup championships. He shares a record that may never be broken in tennis. Marat and his sister, Daenerys Safina, are the only brother and sister tandem in history to hold the world number one rankings. Marat is now working in the Russian parliament. Two truly tremendous players. We look forward to their induction on July 16th in Newport, Rhode Island. Moving on, three-time former champion Rafa Nadal hit the stadium in Indian Wells for this practice session. Rafa has not won a hard court title since 2014 and he's admitted it is a new era of aggression in men's tennis. Rafa says that everybody hits the ball very hard and they try to go from winners in any position. He says the game has gotten a little bit crazy. Rafa's return puts his sponsors back in the spotlight as well. He shared a sneak peek of the Nike apparel he's going to be wearing in Indian Wells. Here's a look. Rafa also rolls in with a new commercial for his longtime sponsor, Kia. And let the celebration begin. One of the tennis world's most beautiful couples, Flavia Panetta and Fabio Fognini, have finally set a wedding date. The couple plans to wed on June 11th in Italy, according to a Eurosport report. In a new interview with Italian Vanity Fair, the couple reveal how their friendship blossomed into a love match, and it seems it started with just a kiss on the couch. Flavia says one evening they were on the sofa, everything seemed the same, but after a kiss, things got a little strange, and then they became a couple. The U.S. Open champion says she does not miss playing tennis. Remember, she retired after the end of last season. Flavia also concedes her relationship with former world number one Carlos Moya was not a relationship built to last. You may recall they were engaged years ago. And Flavia says that some of her mates, like Carlos, she really loved them, but she realized they weren't relationships that would last forever. Well, Fabio surprised his sweetie with some flowers to celebrate Flavia's 34th birthday back on February 25th. In other news, Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams shared a dance at the Wimbledon Ball last summer. Now they share another honor. Novak and Serena have been nominated for the 2016 Laureus World Sportsman and World Sportswoman of the Year awards. Nole won that prestigious award last year. His coach, Boris Becker, believes the secret to Nole's success is his deep desire to improve his game. He keeps on getting better and better. You know, most, most players, uh, when they've won already so much, uh, they lack a little bit in hunger. Becker also points to Nole's championship character, which he says was forged from a very challenging childhood growing up in war-torn Serbia. He was not raised with a golden spoon. He's born in, uh, in war-torn Serbia. And they had to leave their apartment a couple of times because bombs were over their head. So, I mean, imagine, imagine that. I think that, that defines your life, that defines your character. Um, I call him, in the best possible meaning of the world, a real street fighter. And confronted with the key question, can 11-time Grand Slam champion Nole break Roger Federer's record of 17 major titles? Coach Becker had this to say. I think at the moment that's far-fetched. That's not something we talk about. That's not on our agenda. 
that's, that's uh, quite frankly not our goal. Our goal is to play this year as well as possible, um, win as many tournaments, uh, hopefully win as many Grand Slams. Meantime, Serena Williams is aiming for a record third Laureus Sportswoman of the Year award. Serena previously won that one back in 2003 and 2010. The world number one's performance at the age of 34 has Boris Becker believing that Serena is somewhat of a superhero. Well, I call Serena Williams superwoman. What this lady does on a tennis court is unbelievable. And she's a bit like wine, you know, the older she gets, the better she is. Serena is set to return to action in an exhibition against her BFF, Caroline Wozniacki. That's at Madison Square Garden coming up on Tuesday night. And finally, how do players spend their spare time during Davis Cup week? We're going to leave you now with Jack Sock fronting the Bryan Brothers Band. Gotta love it. You mistaken my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had. That's our news for now. I'm Grace Carter. See you next time here on Tennis Now.